Hi there, Stanton here from Algo Trading. Welcome to the next video in our MT5 video tutorial series. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to carry on the theme of no programming knowledge and show you how to use pre existing EAs that are in the code base. Today, specifically, I'm going to look at the Larry Collins RSI2 strategy, which is similar to what I did in the pro real time videos. But today, I'm going to use the strategy in um, MetaTrader 5. Okay, so let's go to our trading platform and we're just going to go into our Meta Editor. So in the Meta Editor, as I showed in the previous video, this is where all the action happens. This is where you do all your coding, your development of your strategies. So if you've noticed, there's a tab at the bottom here called Code Base. Now, as you can see here, there's a Larry Connors RSI2 strategy that's been loaded into the code base. This is my strategy. I wrote it and it was uploaded about a week or so ago, a couple of weeks ago, into the code base. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download it and then run it in your and test the strategy. So, in order to download anything from the code base, you can see here there's a lot of like functions and scripts and things like that. Um, the guy, the one with the little guys next to it are expert advisors. So these are all expert advisors that people have written and shared to give a basically a little starter a starter template to help people that haven't got much programming skills. So the one we're going to use is this Larry Connors RSI2. So if you go to your code base, you'll find this strategy in there. You right click, you click download. And then as you can see there, it's open the code in my window. So I'm not going to go through everything. I'll do these in subsequent videos. I'm not going to explain the code to you. But what I will explain is the strategy itself. So if you go to Codebase and you double click on it, that will take you to the actual page where the strategy is. So you can see here, the expert advisor is a simple one. It uses three indicators, the RSI, a fast moving average and a slow moving average. And so the idea of the Larry Connor strategy is that you find the trend by using the 200 day moving average. And if there's a dip, you buy in the dips and you sell on the rises. So the long entry rules is when the RSI 2 is less than 6, and then the close of the previous candle is greater than the slow moving average. And the exit rule is when the close, the current close, is greater than the fast moving average. That is the exit rule. The short entry rule is when the RSI 2 period is greater than 95 and the close of the previous candle is less than the slow moving average. And then the short exit rule is the opposite of the long exit rule is when the close is less than the fast moving average. So that's the basic strategy. You can see we've got these input parameters. So these are parameters that you could change. So if you want to try you know, change the lots to 10 lots. Um, you want to try it with the 8 in your short moving, your fast moving um, average. Um, you could try different long SMA periods, which I'll show in the next video how to optimize for a different symbol. And then your RSI period, you could choose whichever RSI period you want. And then you could choose what your long entry RSI value is and what your short entry RSI value is. The rest is this, is that if you want to use a stop loss, you set this to true and you set your stop loss value and you set your take profit value. Yeah, you can see the results of the strategy. This was run over a three year period um, with an initial deposit of 5,000 pounds. And you can see after three years, we got up to 19,000 pounds. So it's a, it's a fairly good strategy. You can see someone there is, likes the strategy. So it's a fairly good strategy to use for Forex, especially for the US dollar time um, pair. Okay, so once that's done, we've downloaded it into our, into our system. Um, I'm not going to go through the details with you. I'm just going to show you how to run it and then to optimize it. So we've compiled it. You can see there it's the Larry Connors RSI2 strategy. Go back to your you go back to your MetaTrader screen, go to your downloads folder because anything you download from the code base, that's where it will show. And we're going to run this on the Euro US dollar. So anything you download from the code base will come up under here under your downloads folder. 
So next, we got test, and we're just going to test for the last month, for instance. And let's change some of the parameters so we could run a test. We're going to start off with 10 lots, and we're going to increment by 10 lots each, and we're going to say a maximum of 100 lots. So let's test that strategy. And you can see the results are not bad for a month of trading. So if we start off with say 50,000 Rand, your results is about, you know, it's about 3%, which is not, not great results. So let's see if we can optimize this to get these results better. Okay, so let's go back to our meta editor. So the one thing problem with this strategy is that there's no check to see if a candle has closed. So, so what it's basically doing is that it's buying or selling on every tick. So what happens is that it might close your strategy early or you might hit your stop loss multiple times within the same candle. So what we want to do now is we just want to check to see to see is there is there a new candle? If there's a new candle, check our entry and exit rules or our, our short and long rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Euro US dollar one. So this is my live trading EA. And I'm just going to copy this code here that checks for a new candle. And we're going to add that to our strategy. In fact, I'm going to take this whole strategy because this is basically the final version of the Larry Connors version. I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to paste it over. So the only difference between, let me just rename it as well, so when we compile it, when we compile it, it will be compiled as the Larry Connors RSI2 strategy. So we save that. So the only difference between the strategy I downloaded and this strategy is firstly, we've put in a magic number. A magic number is used to identify a EA. So if you want to um, check to see if there's uh, another EA running against the same symbol, um, you would use the magic number so that this strategy won't close other trades in another strategy. So it will only close and open trades using this magic number. So you can see the only difference is here is that I set the magic number for this EA and then further down I just make sure that we have a new candle. So what I'm doing is comparing the time of the opening of the candle and if the time is different then we know that we have a new candle or new bar and then it will keep checking this every tick and will say if new is new bar false it will just return and it won't, ent it won't enter or exit any of the trades. Okay and then another difference is that when I check I see is there any positions open for that symbol and then I check or if the position open does not have the same magic number. So in hedging mode, if you if your system supports hedging mode, this will work, but unfortunately my system only supports netting mode. So this is just an extra check, but it won't make any difference to having open trades in the symbol. Okay, and then Actually, before I do that, I just want to take it back to the way it was. I'm going to just compile it again. And we're going to run a quick test. So you see we've tested it over one month, and the results were okay. What are we going to do now? We're going to just increase the, the... So we're just going to say, let's test it for the last three months. So for one month, it, the results were okay. So now we're going to test for three months and see what sort of results we get.
and as you can see the results are not that great we in loss for all of it and that is due to the not opening a trade on a new candle or not looking to open a trade or close a trade on a new candle so what I'm suggest thinking happened here is that we've hit multiple stop losses within the same on the same candle so let's go back to our editor and instead of copying this one let's just make a new file so I'm going to do a new file and I'm just going to say template and we're going to call this Larry Connors complete so this is going to be the complete version of it and just go next 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 and we just step through it we're going to copy this one so we're going to copy everything from here down and we're going to paste it into our Larry Connors complete so we're just going to go everything from here down okay so that is the Larry Connors complete system I'm just going to save that I'm going to compile everything okay so we've now compiled the new the new Larry Connors EA I'm just going to test that and we're going to just change some of the inputs so you can see we've got some default inputs that we've put in here so now we can test and you can see the previous one we had a not such great result over a three month period so now we're going to test the new one with the changes sorry we didn't select any variables to run through we're just going to let it run so we're just defining now what's the best number of lots to use for this trading system okay I think we've got a bit too many there it's going to take too long to run so let's just change this from we start at 10 we step in 20 and we'll go to 200 that's fine so we're only going to go through 10 different parameters or 10 variables So there you see. So over the same amount of or over a three month period you could see what our results now are. They are looking a lot better. So we'll probably go somewhere with maybe forty lot of forty lots. Um I mean if you want to risk more, but the drawdown of fourteen percent over three months is quite high higher than I like so I prefer like a drawdown of about 4% which will give you you know about say 5% over the three month period and if you're running 10 algos you're looking at about 50% over a three month period which is a great sort of a great return well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for the next video when I take the same strategy and I optimize it for a different symbol. Thank you, goodbye.